we have to have to solve hard problems. Well, my belief is I want to compromise, too, but I don't think you're going to get the liberal uh, core of your party, the Democratic Party, to support anything until they see the vampire bites on the necks of the Republicans, until they see they've taken a piece out of them on the issue of high-income high taxation. Are they going to give on entitlements? They're not going well, to give. What do you think? You know the politics. I, uh, I think that there's ways that we can move forward, and everyone has to understand that we're the majority party because we have moderates in our caucus. And the Republicans need to understand that these tax cuts are going to go away at the end of the year if they don't get reasonable. And once they go away, then we can come back in and pass tax cuts for the middle class and leave the very um, out of that equation. So there is pressure here on both sides of the equation. Uh, we've got a real debt and deficit problem. We need to be serious about it while we protect the middle class. And I'm so hopeful that we can find some combination of an increase in rates for the wealthy, some limitation on deductions for the wealthy, and some kind of means testing for Medicare that would, you know, we don't need to be buying Donald Trump's prescription drugs, Chris. Uh, yeah. We can do this in, in a for a in, number in of some, reasons. And, 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 yeah, for a number of reasons. Although he may need the drugs, <laughs> we don't need to be buying them. Um, we we need to also look at spending cuts across the board. Maybe not as as with a two by four like the sequestration, but surgically we need to look at spending cuts. And all of those things need to be on the table. And we need to all quit trying to play politics with this and get it done. Let me ask.